Hi everybody, welcome to the Spike Rainer channel. I know it's been quite a while since I made a video because typically speaking um, I'm no longer uh, feel as if I'm making a huge contribution to this community. I've got other interests which is what happens when you move on with your life. Um, however, I recently watched a video where somebody commented on one of the Watchtower broadcasting videos about something where I'm not entirely sure who this person was and might have been a helper to the governing body but they used the word traitor in reference to those who leave the Watchtower organization and they used this word several times. The indication was that if you leave the Watchtower organization you are a traitor. So I want to address this uh, because to me this is a very fascinating thing. So let's think about what a traitor is. So let's paint a scenario. So say for example that you lived a life of crime and that you got involved with some type of group that was criminal in their activities. And you did this for a long time, or for some amount of time, any amount of time, but you were considered to be part of this criminal group. If you then decided to clean up your life and leave this criminal group um, and turn to a life of living within the law instead of outside of it, the criminal group could rightly consider you to be a traitor. Does that make you a bad person? Well, if you decided to change from a life of crime to living a good life, the answer would be no. So being a traitor to organizations that are not good is not a bad thing. So this being said, can the Watchtower rightly claim that if you leave, you are a traitor to them? On some level, the answer is yes. But for the completeness of the comparison, the Watchtower is not an organization that teaches truth, nor has it ever been. So if you consider yourself, or if the Watchtower considers you a traitor, that should be worn as a badge of honor. If the best the Watchtower can do is call you a traitor, that's because they're desperate. They are attempting to play on your emotions. You should be no more loyal to them than criminals are to a criminal organization when they realize that they don't want to be criminals anymore. If the Watchtower organization had any moral authority, they should be able to present the case as to why what they're teaching is true and correct, and they should be able to do so with facts and with information. And they should not have to stifle dissent. They should not have to silence their critics. The very fact that they have to do this demonstrates that they don't have a leg to stand on. So I make this point because I come to you as Spike Rayner, um, a person. So I chose the name Spike Rayner because I did not want to get personally involved with the organization because of exactly what you see. They are not open to reason. They are not open to discussion. And all they do is when you disagree with them, like a criminal organization, they portray you as a traitor. If you'd like to understand the way that works, watch Goodfellas. Goodfellas is a bunch about a bunch of uh, mobsters, and when the mobsters are betrayed in some way or another, they kill each other. So the Watchtower is operating exactly like that. Uh, henceforth, I keep my name out of the line light because I do not want followers. Um, I don't, I'm not prideful. I don't want my name to be known. But one thing I will say is if the Watchtower wants to call me a traitor, I'll wear that as a badge of honor. And I'll do that because they can't defend in any other way other than launching insults. Thanks for watching. Bye.